Hi guys, welcome back. Well, summer has arrived here in the UK, so I thought I'd do a lovely summer tutorial for you. And it's about a bold lip, but also how to um, protect your face in the sun, uh, but also not make all your makeup melt off. So first of all, I'm going to go in with a moisturiser, and I'm using my Oil of 8 um, Natural Repair Face Cream. And this, I would say, is more for people with uh, normal to dry skins. Skins? Skin. And I'm just applying that all over my face. It is important that you do still moisturise it in the summer because you're going to be drying it out in the sun and it's important that you do it anyway. Even if you do get a little bit more oily in the summer. So now that I'm going to be lovely and shiny, I'm going to go on with my um, sun protection. I nearly forgot the word for it then. So I'm using this one by number 7. I am not that impressed with it to be honest. Yes, it doesn't make my face burn, which is amazing. Uh, but it leaves my skin feeling really, really tacky, which doesn't help when I'm trying to put makeup over the top of it. But I have a solution for you guys. So if you have any like sun protection that does exactly the same as my one does now, because I don't want to throw it, I spent money on it, so I'm going to make it work. And don't forget to spread that over your ears, over your lids, down your neck. So I am all shiny, 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 shiny. I'm going to now go in with something I thought I would never say, but this is Fix Perfect Rimmel uh, Primer. And this is for oily skin. I haven't got oily skin. But putting this on top of uh, this lovely shiny, shiny, shiny uh, skin protector helps mattify it. So I'm not such a glow bug and none of my makeup just melts off the top of it. So just a little bit on the back of my hand. Uh, I would usually use a hydrating one because my skin is more normal to dry. But, for some reason this really works for me. So on camera I'm still looking pretty shiny but in real life I can see I'm a lot less shiny. But this will slowly dull down. But I'm not so tacky on my face anymore. It's quite nice and smooth. I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm using my Collection 2000 uh, Last Imperfection. I think they're just called Collection now. Uh, concealer and I'm just dotting that underneath my eyes. By the way, this is in fair. I'm just using my ring finger just to blend that in. Fine. And just a little bit around my nose so I get a bit of redness. I bet you guys are sick of hearing me using this product, but it's amazing, so I love it. And it's cheap. £4.19, can't go wrong. So I'm going to go in with this uh, Lily Lolo uh, foundation and this is a mineral foundation and this is a lot cheaper than your Bare Minerals foundation. It's like £11 instead of the 20 quid that you spend with Bare Minerals and this is in China Doll and it comes in a really nice light shade. It comes in one lighter than this but I found that was too ghostly on me which is surprising because I am the fairest of the fair. So with uh, a Kabuki brush I'm going to I put some on the brush there, but that's going to be way too much. Do not apply that. So I'm just tapping it into the lid and swirling it around. See how much excess is coming off? Make sure you tap off the excess. And now I'm going to just apply that to the rest of my face. Lovely circular motions. This gives a lovely, lovely natural finish to the skin, especially with the more glowy products underneath. It gives a bit more of a natural look. And this isn't, I would say this is light to medium coverage, but you can build it up. You can add more and more. And this is a product that's really good for the skin as well. And really quick and easy to do. So now I've got a lovely base on, I'm going to go into the eyes and I'm keeping the eyes really really simple. I'm actually not going to apply any more product on the eyes except for 
ear eyeliner and I'm going to be using my Super Cat uh, Drugstore Eyeliner from Soap and Glory. I'm going to try and stay in focus. Tilt my head back slightly. Looking into, down into that mirror. And using short strokes. To make a lovely cat eye. On the outer corner, still looking down, I'm going to make a line out from the corner of the eye going up in a straight line and connect that to where I put the liner and fill in the gap. I'm now going to curl my lashes using my Shurimura eyelash curlers. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal uh, Volume Million Excess. That is such a mouthful. Why do they name things so long? Uh, mascara. Tilting my head back to make sure I don't catch any skin that I always usually do anyway. I am going to do my eyebrows. Uh, you don't have to, you can skip this step. It's not really necessary that much for the summer because um, I don't know, like the other better I guess makeup wise. But I'm going to use my new favourite product which is Archery by Soap and Glory. It's upside down. And I'm going to be using the inky side. So I don't know if you can see if I do this. It's not very, very pigmented, but that's perfect for my brows. I don't want huge, massive brows. So, what I do is apply a line connecting the underneath of my brows. And then also a line on the top of my brows. And just slightly, lightly just go to my brows then with the rest of the product. And that's it. So moving on to the next brow. Sorry, my camera cut out then, I don't know why. But as I was saying, I'm going to go into my Bare Minerals uh, Warmth uh, Bronzer, which looks a bit scary. Again, tapping my brush in, swirling it round, tapping off the excess, and just applying that to the cheeks, on my temples, and the hairline slightly as well. Blend that in, blend it across my nose. Now I'm adding a bit of highlighter, which is my physician, Physician's Formula Highlighter in Vega Strip Light Bronzer Using the top shades there And applying that to the tops of my cheekbones Slightly above my eyebrow And that's it for my face Now moving on to my lips, which I'm going to make lovely and bold I'm going to use this Barry M Cole Pencil And this is in number 23 And just start lining our lips. I 
You could leave it with just this, but I'm going to add a lipstick on top. And the lipstick I'm going to be using is called Brighton Rock, and it's by Topshop. That is my look finished. So it's really, really simple, really, really easy. Uh, this could be nighttime or daytime, depending on uh, your preference with the lips. Uh, you could add some fake lashes on just to make this a bit more dramatic. Or if you are a little bit sort of not sure of the bright lip, you can always add a more muted colour over the top. Um, I'm going to use the lip butter in from Revlon in Creme Brulee. And that's slightly muted down so it's not so bright. It's still bright. And uh, yeah, I hope you really, really like it. I hope you try and recreate it. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching and have a lovely summer. Bye. Great. This is going to go over the top of it. It's going to get rid of the rest of the shine that's on my face. Um, so I think. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I'm going to do it so well. Ooh. Ooh, I've got sensitive knees. Okay, this is a bit more difficult because this brow is very, very different. It's got missing gap there compared to the other one. They are definitely not twins. Uh, they are definitely sisters. Even though I'm a twin, I wish my eyebrows were twins. Um, and I have a bit more filling in to do right at the front.